Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to my Crybaby Whims Legacy Challenge. This is episode six. We are here this morning with little baby and Beelzebub just being so cute. I love that they keep interacting with each other. It reminds me so much of Lilith when she was a little infant. But we have got Scarlet over here just doing a little bit gardening because I really wanted her to be able to evolve some plants. It looks like one's actually ready, which is amazing. So we've got to the next part. We just have three more plants left to evolve. And our little baby's put his toe in his mouth, bless him. Lilith, um, Lilith got up this morning to go and get the morning after pill. So she is currently there at the moment and then she'll be coming straight back to bed because She's exhausted, but she knew she needed to get up early and sort all of that out. So she is back and she's feeling so happy. Hope it works. Well, that was stressful. What about using protection next time? Yeah, let's hope she's a little bit smarter next time. But you know, our Lilith, she, uh, I think she'd probably just rely on this. She's like, eh, this works. I'll just do that again next time if, uh, if they don't bring any protection for me. Bonnie is wearing a cone because I went to get her spade because we have space in our household for another, like, household member and I don't want Lilith getting pregnant and I also don't want Bonnie getting pregnant so she has been spayed which is why she is currently wearing this cone but for now we are just going to spend a little bit of time with Scarlet and baby while Lilith is sleeping and Scarlet is just having a go at crawling with a little baby I remember Lilith learned this straight away like Angel actually taught her to crawl um and she she got it on her first ever attempt so we'll see if a uh, little baby is going to be the same he looks so tiny right now i know it's mostly perspective but he looks so so small i don't think he's gonna get it this t oh no he's getting up is he no i don't think he's gonna get it this time around but we're gonna keep working with him and just oh <laughs> bless him yeah he didn't quite get it but that's okay he is a little bit hungry so scarlet is putting him in his high chair just for like a mid-afternoon snack we're giving him some sweet potato puree to see if he likes this this morning he is in such a good mood he's feeling so happy because he adores scarlet and he's in a familiar space and he really likes the soothing wind chimes outside and he's just he's so well looked after and i love it the cats have had a right time on our sofa we're gonna have to fix these scratches honestly they just do not listen i tell them off for it um i'm just checking if anything else is scratched up i think everything else is okay at the moment but poor skull is feeling um a little bit tense because she's been doing too much technology i don't know what tech you've been using I haven't asked you to do anything. We don't really have any tech in the house. So whatever you've been doing, you've been doing by yourself, Scarlet. And that's all on you then. But why don't we do a little bit more? Why don't we practice standing with baby as well? Lilith was my first ever infant who learned to stand. So we're going to see if um baby, her son, uh, takes after his mother. Oh, look at him. He's so adorable. I know they usually kind of learn by themselves, but it's good to kind of practice standing with them, apparently. But why don't we do a little bit more practice crawling and then we'll probably put him down for a nap soon. We are getting a message. It looked like it was Rory messaging, but it went a bit too soon. Um, but Lilith, she'll probably sleep in for a little bit longer and then get herself. Oh, I say that she's been woken up by um, Clyde. He just does not stop waking us up. But to be fair, that's that's fine. We can come over and use the bathroom and grab ourselves some food. And Taylor is here at the door. So we are going to invite Taylor in, our sister. We spent some time with our dad yesterday and now our sister's come to visit. So we'll come and say hi to her. It looks like Beelzebub is coming out and I really hope he doesn't attack her. Yeah, he does. He, he did. He did. Of course he did. Poor Taylor. She got attacked last time as well. Uh, this is really interesting Lilith has a want to ask Ebony to be her girlfriend but she is like only sexually and romantically attracted to masculine sims but I'm wondering if that is only because you know she saw Damien as the only one that she wanted previously and now she's you know she was feeling flirty I think wasn't she with um 
Aubrey at the club yesterday and now she's got a wallet to ask Ebony to be her girlfriend. So I'm wondering if we should have a go of pondering her um, orientation again. And let's see if it changes. Let's say fate and see if it pops up and says anything else. This makes so much sense. Oh my goodness. So she is aromantic. She does not experience any uh, romantic attraction toward any sim. So she doesn't like care for romance or anything. But she is pansexual, so she is like sexually attracted to sims regardless of their gender identity or presentation. I feel like that fits her really well. And I like the idea that she's kind of, you know, discovered her sexuality and her preferences over time. Like she thought she was straight um, when she was with Damien and then realized actually maybe I'm not. I don't know how I feel about her asking um, em and Ebony to be her girlfriend considering the fact that, um, you know, she is aromantic, but they could, you know, they could have a woohoo relationship or something like that. But that's super, super interesting. And I love that for her. Lilith is getting annoyed because um, Bonnie is scratching her bed. We're gonna try and lecture her about scratching the bed but she probably won't listen she's like ignoring us by the looks of it she is lecturing her about scratching the bed but bonnie of course just is hissing back she does not care they are such like naughty cats but i love that that it's just that's what she gets <laughs> that's what she gets for adopting random strays but lilith is just playing some video games at the moment and she's thinking about what her mum said about earning some money and she's thinking i like gaming i don't really want a job so why don't i just like enter a gaming tournament or something so so she is going to enter that for 20 simoleons and she's like, eh, if I win, I get like a decent amount of money, hopefully. And it's something I enjoy doing. I am absolutely obsessed with the fact that Lilith is listening to original classic Sims music while playing a Sims tournament. She is so relatable. <laughs> I love her. Kayla is calling Lilith and asking if she wants to hang out at the nightclub. It is a little bit early to be going out clubbing, but to be honest, I think she's going to give it a miss for tonight because she is still so tired from the night before. Um, I do think she'll probably, you know, continue clubbing throughout the week, but for now, I think she's going to she's gonna give it a miss for tonight. But it looks like Baby has woken up, so I'm going to have Scarlet come over and he actually learned the pincer grab so she can come and give him some finger foods for the first time she's just out here researching a plant because i'm not too sure if this actually helps um increase the quality i'm hoping it might contribute to it but i do have my doubts i don't think it does but we only have three more and then scarlet's generation requirements are complete taking a lot longer than I'd hope it to but it is what it is you gotta do what you gotta do <laughs> I had not expected this but Lilith came third she got um 35 smolian so it wasn't too much but she actually didn't do too bad but she can't enter another gaming tournament at the moment but she is feeling really confident because she actually placed in a tournament I don't think I've had this happen <laughs> in like a long long time my sims never do well in gaming tournaments and she's just standing here because i think the cats are look at them these two once again but i had set up for her to play some games but she is a little bit too tired so i'm gonna have her stop and look at these two cats honestly i can't get over them oh look at his happy little face as he tries it for the first time hopefully he's gonna like them oh, okay no he didn't like the peanut butter puffs i could honestly watch infants all day they are so adorable look at him like giggling <laughs> he's so sweet i wonder if he'll be as much of a messy eater oh my goodness as lilith um, he threw his food on the floor, just like Lilith. Maybe he's going to turn out a bit more like her than we expect him to. I'm going to have him use his diaper so that we can go and change it. And then he is once again getting tired. So we'll probably put him down for an early night. Lilith has been woken up once again by the cat. So I'm going to have her come over and do a little bit more gaming. We can't actually enter another tournament. So Lilith is probably thinking, you know, I told my mum I would make some money and I made a little bit from that gaming tournament earlier, but 35 simoleons is really not a lot and I can't guarantee that I'll place it again. So she needs to have a think about what else she can do to make herself some money. And she is remembering that when she was at high school, I think it was on her actual last day of high school, she was able to hack into the systems and improve her school grade so she's like hey i actually did quite well at hacking so you know maybe i can uh i can get some money 
you know, by, you know, hacking some other systems, there might be something like that that I could do. So she is going to have a go at doing, um, doing something a little bit more questionable. She is going to hack into the Lothario Trust Fund. She's like, I've heard there's this really rich dude and he's like, his whole family's got so much money. So I'm just going to give a go of hacking with that. Scarlet is busy napping on the sofa, but poor baby is so angry. <laughs> so we need to come over and try and soothe him off to sleep a little bit. And once again, we have a cat scratching our bed. This time it is Clyde. I cannot, <laughs> cannot deal with these cats anymore. But something about Lilith is she is actually a coding genius. So she is, she really understands all this stuff. So so she's really techy in the like the coding programming sort of sense she loves gaming she's not very good at it well clearly she's good enough to place third in a competition um but her like sort of area that she knows quite a bit in is the code sort of side to it all i can't think of the terminology but that is the sort of area that she is pretty good at so hopefully she's gonna have some luck um hacking into this trust fund and luckily i think we should be able to hack whenever we want unlike the gaming tournament where we can only enter a few times but to be honest once she has done this i'll probably let her go off to sleep again because we know the cats are just going to keep waking her up throughout the night. Scarlet is back to napping on the sofa, but if you're tired, go to bed. But first, why don't you come and feed the cats? And Lilith got 223 simoleons from that. So it's definitely, um, you know, she gets a little bit more money from hacking compared to the gaming tournament. So I think she'll probably do a few of both as and when she can. Clyde has woken us up once again. We're going to come and scold him. And we've... We want to chat with Aubrey. That's weird. Maybe it's because she saw her at the club the other day and she's like, I know we fought at school, but like, she is kind of cute. What do you actually think of Aubrey? I mean, I don't think she's overly, she thinks she's very attractive. If you think she's very attractive, I'll give her a makeover because this is, this is not it. This is not it. I won't change her features, but she can't be wearing this if you're going to find her attractive. But oh my goodness, Clyde has finally learned to not wake Sims up. So maybe Lilith can actually get some sleep. Oh, she's so happy. She's so like, oh, thank goodness he's finally learned to stop waking me up but we cannot go back to sleep because a little baby has woken up so i'm gonna have scarlet come over and just get him sorted it is five in the morning but you know when he's awake and hungry we gotta look after him we've got another plan ready to be evolved amazing so we only have um we should have two more left which is so so perfect i noticed that beelzebub is not feeling very well probably because this trash on the floor and he was probably eating it but luckily we have got some treats in our inventory that we can feed him but for now we've just got to feed our little baby he was a bit unsure of the oatmeal cereal but he's still being able to like smush it everywhere was he a picky eater because he definitely seems like no he's a good appetite but he doesn't really like many foods he's just he likes to eat but he doesn't like you know many flavors which i can i can relate <laughs> <laughs> we are doing some more crawling practice with baby this morning while Lilith sleeps in. Hopefully he'll be able to get there very, very soon and then he'll be a little bit more independent. He will actually be aging up into a toddler in the next episode, which is so crazy to think. So it'd be really, really good if he can at least like learn to crawl before then. He is not having any of it at the moment though, bless him. Oh, it looks like he's just like <laughs> cuddling down to go to sleep instead. That is so adorable look at him oh she's having to like roll him back over bless him he's like what is going on lilith has woken up i don't know if it's because she was hungry or if another cat has woken her out but she has decided she wants some blue steak for breakfast because why not um she also wants to ignore the bills once again she wants to be alone still haven't decided what i want to do about that loner tray i'm kind of wondering if i should either change it myself but if so i don't know what to or if I should just see if she kind of gets a self-discovery to change it. I'm kind of leaning a bit more towards that because it's like she was a loner, but maybe if she hangs out with more Sims, you know, she might end up getting that switch. I'm not sure. Let me know what you think. Um, but for now, I am going to have her probably come over and get herself sorted for the day. And then she's going to come over and have another go at another gaming tournament. We might go for a professional one this time. Um, we're probably not 
good enough for that. But, you know, who knows? She came third in the last one. We can give it a go again. I think after the other night where Lilith got a new tattoo and piercing with Rory, she has decided, you know, that she might actually want another one or two because she really enjoyed that. And she likes the idea of being able to, like, express herself and explore her style and everything. Um, so do expect a few more changes to come. I don't want to do it all in one go, but I do think slowly we might see a few more tattoos and piercings on our lovely little Lilith. Baby has come over to nap next to Beelzebub, who is just meowing at him. I really like these two together. That's really sweet. As I said at the start, it really reminds me of Lilith with Lucifer. We've got a little baby and Beelzebub. L and L, B and B. Oh, it's Faye, Lilith. Lucifer, Beelzebub, baby. It's perfect. It's, I love, oh, and Beelzebub has fallen asleep too. I wonder if these guys are going to be best friends. Lilith didn't do as well in that gaming tournament. To be fair, she did give a go at a professional one after she only came third in a novice one yesterday. But, you know, she's confident. <laughs> That's our girl. She thought she could do it, but unfortunately, she couldn't. So she's just coming over to do a little bit more hacking instead. And this, she knows that she's pretty much, well, she's not guaranteed but she thinks she's guaranteed she's managed to um reach level five so now she can perform side jobs so maybe that's her way of thinking there could be more to this than i thought it's not just hacking maybe there are some people on the internet that want me to you know do do things on their computers for them or something but she is ill as you can see so i'm gonna have her take some medicine and then we can choose to start a side job um I'm going to give it a go because she's almost finished this programming. And as I say, I do want her to go out later, but it's only two o'clock in the afternoon. So we can probably start a new side job. She does want to stay on the lot for eight hours anyway, but she managed to get 280 simoleons from that. So hacking is definitely the way forward by the looks of it. Grace is calling Scarlet for a chat and it looks like she has aged up into an elder, which means it's not going to be too long until Scarlet becomes an elder as well. She wasn't that much younger than Grace, which means we really don't have too much longer left of her as an adult. It's crazy. I can't believe Scarlet's going to be an elder. Lilith has been able to reach programming at level six already. She only just got to level five and now she's at level six and she's only a third of the way through this side job. I did have it set up for her to hack the land grab systems as that became an option as well. But does she like alternative music? Yes. Okay, sure, Lilith. <laughs> Um, because that did pop up, but I wasn't sure if we'd get another one now that we've reached level six, but that's okay. Um, do we have to do it all in one go? I don't think you do, because I do think I want her to have a bit of a sleep before we head out later. So I might have her stop at five, and hopefully by then she'll be like halfway through and she can finish this another time. But a little baby is over here just eating these OTOs. It looked like he wasn't too sure of them, and um, Scarlett's just having another nap. Oh, bless her. She's so tired all the time. She's definitely getting older, isn't she? Scarlett is just giving baby some more food this evening. And then I think we'll probably head out with Lilith. I don't think we'll go out with everyone again tonight as like a party. I th oh my gosh, baby. He is so cheeky. He's just like Lilith. Oh my goodness. He said his first word and I think it was pig. <laughs> bless him. Um, I mean, was that cause for you to throw your food on the floor? I'm not too sure, but Lilith, let's head out. Lilith has made it to the club with some of her friends. We've decided to do it as a club gathering this evening. She's just coming over to the bar. The bartender is not here, though. He's just standing over there. Um... We'd like to be served, please. The bartender has finally come over. So Lilith is ordering a round of drinks for her friends, but they've all decided to get up. Okay, they're all just shifting seats. It looks like Rory wants to come over and sit next to us, which we obviously going to say yes, she is our best friend after all. We've got Ebony on the other side, which is still a little bit awkward after, you know, we moved with her dad. But, you know, I'm sure she doesn't know and we'll probably try and keep it that way. I feel like Taylor is always in a bad mood when we're out clubbing. Like, honestly, I don't know if this is his sort of vibe, but he just kind of comes along because all of his friends are here. Um, but yeah, he never really seems to enjoy himself. He is in a really angry mood while everyone else is really happy. And oh my goodness, of course, Arthur is here. We're just gonna straight up ignore this dude, I think. Um, is he coming to sit next to his daughter? This is like 
a really interesting dynamic that he just comes to the same club that his daughter is coming to with his pregnant wife as well like oh my goodness look at Lilith with her two drinks she couldn't have just one she's decided to take a second one iconic I love her she's like I didn't go out partying last night so I've got to make up for it tonight and go twice as hard honestly girl I, I rate it <laughs> I love her but she has decided she wants to come over and dance to the DJ performance so I think because she has finished her drinks um we are gonna come over and we're all gonna come and dance together Lilith and her friends have made their way onto the dance floor and are just enjoying themselves when Lilith feels a pair of eyes on her as though someone is watching her she notices an older lady staring at her and Lilith being Lilith confronts the odd behavior she asks who she is and why she's been staring at her the woman apologizes for staring but she said she thought she recognized Lilith and Lilith tells her she must have the wrong sim as she's never seen this lady in her life before but the lady just can't shake the feeling that she knows that face from long ago Lilith questions the lady and asks if she thinks she recognizes her so much who does she think she is and the woman says she looks so much like someone she went to university with and Lilith tells her well it can't be me because I've never been to university and you're old enough to be my mom I know you're not but you just look so much like <sighs> Do you know Angel Monroe? Lilith is shocked to hear that name. And the lady can sense from Lilith's reaction that she does know her. Seeing as you care so much, Angel's my mother. I knew I recognized your face. You're the spitting image of her. How is Angel? I haven't seen her in over 30 years. I never forget a face though. Avoiding the question, Lilith asks who the lady is. My name's Jessie. I lived with your mum during my first year at university. Oh, so you probably know my other mum then too. Scarlett? Yes, I remember Scarlett. She would always let me in when I locked myself out of the apartment. The two decide to continue their conversation at the bar as it's too loud on the dance floor. And Jesse offers to buy Lilith another drink who obviously won't say no to that. They spend time drinking and chatting and more drinking. And Jesse tells Lilith crazy stories from her parents' time at university and Lilith hardly believes them. That sounds nothing like the parents she had growing up. Many drinks later, Jesse eventually asks what Angel and Scarlett are up to these days. And Lilith tells her that Scarlett is raised raising her brother. She retired from being a scientist when they moved to Cockdale. And Jessie notices that Lilith doesn't say anything about Angel, so asks her again. And Lilith responds by saying that she's gone. Jessie says she's sorry to hear this, but Lilith says there's nothing to be sorry about. She's glad her mum's gone. Jessie doesn't ask any more questions, but she doesn't need to. Lilith starts opening up with her own accord. She's lost all filters after the countless drinks. She tells Jessie how horrible Angel was to her growing up. So Lilith made sure she didn't have to worry about her again. Jessie doesn't react to anything Lilith says, just listens, which makes Lilith talk more and more. It's not long before a wave of nausea floods over Lilith. Lilith runs over to the bathroom and barely makes it to the toilet in time to throw up. Rory finds Lilith in the bathroom, passed out on the floor. She takes her back home. Lilith is completely wasted and there's no telling how much of this she'll remember in the morning. Lilith wakes up the next morning, extremely hungover from the night before. She doesn't remember much, but she does recall meeting someone. Jessie. Was that her name? They spoke about Scarlet and Angel and Plum. What did she tell her? Lilith notices her phone vibrate and sees a message from an unknown number. Bet you're feeling rough this morning. It's Jessie from last night. I got your number from one of your friends. I thought we should chat about last night. Are you free later? We can meet at the club again. Say 8pm? The message worries Lilith. What had she said? She knew she was venting about Angel, but had she told Jessie what had happened? The night that Angel died? She couldn't be sure. The only way was to meet her tonight. And I think we should continue this in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like and comment down below and let me know what you think. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. It means so much to me. Don't forget, I am raising money throughout the month of June in aid of Mermaid UK. So if you would like to share or donate, everything will be in the description and I would greatly appreciate it. I will speak to you all in another video. Bye everyone.